Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another brand new episode of An Author Vlogs. We are once again over here working on the castle project. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. So let's take a fly and catch you guys up to speed with what we've been doing. For one, we have connected ourselves up to the nether right there. Because the reason I did it so far away is because nearly everyone is an elytra and the view from here of the castle is so good It's really good and I'm planning to I'm planning a cool project for the portal But I won't see uh, I won't spill that yet. That will come in a future episode But today's episode we're gonna be continuing work on this part of the castle here and this path And I'm gonna actually see if Nano wants to come in and help me decorate this path Because me and Nano have a history of doing really really nice paths together so it would be nice to get Nano involved with that one. But first things first, we're working over here with the uh, big hall that I'm building. So I'm thinking that uh, the stone brick accents we've done already are looking really quite nice. And as we come up into the... Oh, I've fallen. As we come up into the top section of the build here, where the high ceiling is going to be, uh, actually going to bring it in one block here for each of the... Um, accents there just to bring it in a little bit and then actually have the windows be in these gaps here so we'll use some sort of uh, just stone stairs and stuff to make some nice window shapes and have some big tall windows going into a lovely triangular roof um, which could end up looking really nice so I think I'm just going to extend, extend these up a fair ways till we get to a good height uh, for both the window and the supports and work out what we're actually doing because yeah it will hopefully end up looking really nice we just need to remember that every time we do a support we've got to come in and do it on the corner here as well because obviously the build is uh, locked in on, all, on a lot of sides by other builds so it can't exactly look the exact same but definitely on this side and this front side we can do this which is really nice and we can extend these two up in the middle a bit further to create the uh, pointed top of the roof which could be quite nice but that is already looking pretty nice build wise for that so if we extend up and create some nice tall windows that could look really cool bring in the um, peaked roof and then with these two big flat uh, walls here I'm thinking of me and Nano building a big custom tree sort of here to sort of hide this back one uh, and then detailing this front one so there's not two next to each other it's just one big one we might put some window down in here and have like a window into the kitchen because what i'm planning is having this be the grand hall uh, as i said in the last episode so this would be obviously the entrance into the main hall but down below in the space that is obviously behind this wall which currently just houses a few mobs and that sort of thing uh, because it's mainly low. But dig out this space and make a kitchen down here could be a cool idea. Then we'd obviously have a window here and some vents, that sort of thing, to the kitchen, which could be cool. Some like iron barred windows. But as for now, this is looking quite good. And I think the next thing to do is, is actually to just extend them up to put the pointed roof on. I don't know how high we're going to go with it. But I think we should make it quite big. Because I don't want the gatehouse to be the tallest thing. Because obviously this is going to go much taller. That's gonna, probably going to finish up a couple blocks higher than the gatehouse. And then these towers are going to go way up there into the sky. And it will look really grand and really nice. So yeah, if we get some big arched windows in there. Maybe like 10 blocks high or something. And have a really, really high ceiling dining hall. That would look quite good. So I'm going to work on this and be back in a minute. So what we have done now is, if we fly down to the plains biome to have a look, we have got one of the walls up, and as you can see, it's looking really nice. So I've extended this plain stone wall up the side here just as a placeholder, because obviously these towers are going to come way up to the sky there. They're going to be huge by the looks of it, which is going to be really quite interesting to look at uh, with them going so high. Um, but... The side of this build here is got some three lovely big tall windows. I wanted to make them a little wider, but with the space we had, I think that is probably the best we're going to do. Uh, and then as you can see, it's got battlements across the top as a bit of decoration. And out of there, we're going to have a big pointed roof, a bit like what we have here with dark oak as like a supporting thing. And then 
we're going to have green terracotta as the main bulk of the roof. So I'm now going to work on the shaping of that roof and getting some more of the build done. And then we'll work on that front face together. So I've added on the startings of a roof and I am not sure yet. I'm thinking the height is good. It may look a little big right now. Like it may look overly big because we haven't managed to get this back tower in. But once this back tower is in up here, that'll look uh, at a decent height. And whilst all the back towers are much higher up than this one here, we've got big tower here. It'll look more in tune. It's just because it's the highest point right now. It doesn't look uh, in proportion. And I've actually run out of this green clay here. Uh, green terracotta. But I'm thinking that big flat green surface is a bit much. So I may bring another dark oak band off of the middle there. Just up the middle. And it may help with that big green flat. Um, yeah, big green flat texture here but obviously once this is up as well it'll look better once this tower's done but that is i think next episode's job to do that but i am gonna continue working here and jump back in when we have a little bit more because this thing is actually very hard to build on camera i actually decided to bring the roof down by a couple of blocks and that that peak is looking so much better than the one beforehand so I'm going to build it back up and it should look pretty decent. Okay, so we're going to take a little break from this project here. As you can see, I've got the roof fully built up and the start of the front on because we are going to link up with Forge. Because Forge, uh, as you know, we did a little shopping uh, order for him the other day where we built up the gardens around his area. And yeah, he wanted basically a lesson on how to do that sort of thing so he doesn't have to waste all of his diamonds on me um, to make him do it all because he's I think he's got quite a big base project going on. So obviously that's a ridiculous amount of diamonds to get me and I to do it. So I thought I'd give him a little lesson. So yeah, we'll jump over, meet up with Forge and yeah, get teaching basically. Okay, so on my end, I've jumped over here with uh, Forge to his amazing place. I've not actually seen this before, so this is really cool. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah you got loads of farms over there that just don't make any sense to me. But this is more makes sense to me because this is building. <laughs> yeah, this is like what I'm not very good at. <laughs> I mean, it's, so it's that's... very good. I'm, I quite like it. Yeah, thank, I thank really, you. I really like I... the style. It's like different to... A lot of styles that I've seen, especially this tower yeah. in the middle. I really like it. This is an original me design, like everything else here. <laughs> nice. But yeah, Forge called me over here today to sort of help with making custom trees and custom areas around builds. Yeah, because I'm really bad at that. Just yeah. And this yeah. this whole area would be very expensive to pay me and Nano to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this would be <laughs> very expensive. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I, I, I kind of want to learn to do it myself as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of, so... Alright, I do thank you, sir. You're welcome, and I'm loving this barn, by the way. I just noticed this. Also a me design. Yeah, I really like this barn. <laughs> yeah. Nice, I like the I'm not gonna. Variation. I'm not going to tell you how long it took to uh, design, I'm not going to tell yeah. you that. I, I really sad. like it. But yeah. Thank you for having me over at your place. Oh, you pay? Thank you very much. I, I will. I will pay you for your services. Oh well, thank you. I wasn't expecting payment, but also I have. Also, if you need iron, I can hook you up with that as well. All right. I don't Here need iron right now, but cheers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That'll last me quite a while, I'm sure. I, I, do you want to see how much I got? <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, that's your quartz. It's it, that, that. It's not even in there. It's in my uh, storage room. I have shulker boxes full. Oh, but, all right. Yeah. No, I can imagine. <laughs> So that's the thing yeah. is, I never build the iron farm on SMPs because I just assume someone else will. Yeah, I, I thought I was the only one building one, but Mighty beat me to the punch and now he's got a shop. All right, yeah. Just undercut everything his prices. I build, everything I build, mm. Mighty builds. Just undercut his prices. Yeah, that was that's the plan. He keeps right. undercutting yeah. us, though, as well. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, with rocket, right. rockets, I've noticed is the one thing that I've, I know. I've, I've stopped being a loyal customer to you and moved. But... That's. That's a bit mean. Yeah, well. I need to drop the prices and then me and Toby are going to have a meeting about that. Nice. Well, thank you for having me over at your area. It's looking super good and I can't wait to come over here when more progress is done on it. Yeah. So, yeah. I also have all the technical stuff over here to do as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to 
hop back over and continue working on my castle, I think. Alright, see ya. So, I hope you enjoyed that collab with Forge. As I said, go and watch Forge on his YouTube channel called Forge1 to find out what happened in most of that collab. Because obviously I only uploaded very small portions of it because I have explained to the, you guys the stuff that I did in the collab with Forge before on this channel. But of course, it's always nice to show the other on author boxes some love. So pop over to Forge's channel and find the video where we collabed. But anyway, we have been working over here. We have got this build nearly done. And I think the framing of stone brick might be a little much. I don't know. I think it works quite well. Uh, makes that area seem a bit grander, which is of course the desired effect because it is the grand hall. And yeah, it does look really quite nice from down here. I'm actually really happy with how that's turned out. The shaping of it is really nice. But it took me ages to figure out this bit here because obviously I need to cover up the green from the inside. And I think just framing it like that worked quite well. It might be a bit much stone brick, but once we add some cracked and mossy in there, it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, looking at it from down here, it looks all nice. And obviously there's going to be... Uh, glass in those windows. I think I'm going to go with stained glass, which could look quite nice. It does mean, uh, however, that looking from the inside, we're not going to have a lot of space for this grand hall area type deal uh, for down here. So it might be a case of uh, changing up what we do with the interior, but today we're not going to focus on the interior because we have got much more pressing matters to focus on. So what I'm going to do I'm going to finish off the details of this build, obviously all the glass, that sort of thing. I haven't done the back side of it yet because we've got this, these uh, different builds to go in. So I'm going to leave the back side open until we move on to there. I have done the side up to there because that is uh, likely not going to be covered up because this build is only going to go, this roof is probably only start there and slant down and this is just a bit of a walkway out here where there's not going to be another entrance there so we're not actually going to do uh cover up that side of the wall because it's just going to be short little uh buildings but i think it should look quite nice so yeah i'm going to grab up some stained glass and fill in the windows get some lighting hidden in that build before we do the interior and hopefully it should look very nice by the end of the episode so i put some stained glass in all of the windows and i've actually turned one of the windows into a clock face because I think it looks really nice having there but all this stained glass is looking actually really cool um, I think once there's light shining through it all it'll look even better but yeah it's just looking pretty cool having all the different colors of glass on the build it just adds that bit of color yeah I'm liking it I'm really especially from this angle over here it's looking super nice and if we see the build from coming out the front, you can see all the stained glass there, the clock face. And yeah, there seems to be a zombie somewhere. But um, yeah, that clock face as well. Just a simple thing. I don't know whether those hands look perfect, but it's the best I could do with obviously Minecraft. So I think the next thing to do for this build, to completely finish, is add a door. Build up a back wall just out of plain stone. And then add the texture detailing like we've done everywhere else. And then this build will be completely done. So the textures have been added to all of the walls. And it really makes this build feel complete and part of the castle now. It's looking so good. I'm so happy that this has turned out the way it is supposed to be. So now we've got uh, some texturing in that bottom bit there. And all over the walls. It just looks a bit more like it's supposed to fit in with this... Uh, with this castle, it looks like it's now part of it instead of just being a new build on it. But look at that. That is looking absolutely mega. Once we get this big tower in here as well, that's going to look so good. But I'm incredibly happy with how this turned out. And on, as you can see, I've put a door on now. And on the inside, I'm going to remove this snow layer. Bye. Uh, on the inside, we don't have an interior. We just have a load of lighting to make this glow at night time. Unfortunately, I can't show you it at night time right now because there's quite a few people on. 
so someone will no doubt sleep when it goes to night time. But yeah, I'm overall very happy with how this um, hall area build part of the castle turned out. It turned out better than I thought it would when I started building it. And it just is another thing that fits in so well onto the terrain that I am super glad that it's there. So for the last bit of the episode, we have met up with Nano in Hello, the plains over here, frolicking in the sunflowers. Yes. With a really big head. <laughs> yeah. We found a wandering trader that was selling Nano's head, so we bought like three of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, Nano actually came up with an idea for my castle gatehouse that actually ended up looking really nice, and it's just something I completely didn't think about. And it's using stairs to create arrow slits instead of having those big bulky glass bits. And I think on the front, that looks really nice compared to what it do did before. Because uh, it just had the big bulky black glass as the windows there. But now it's got arrow slits. It just looks a bit better from this angle, <coughs> I think, anyway. So thank you, Nano. Of course, of course. But yeah, we have employed Nano here, as we usually do on this channel, to come and help me build a path. Because I, could, I don't think I could ever bring myself to make another path without the help of Nano. Oh, cheers, mate. Every path has to start off with Nano. <laughs> and I'm actually having to use the path right now because I've run out of rockets. But I think the plan is to start from the top and work our way down the path. Uh, how does that sound to you? Yeah, it's good. So I think we're going to have some trees, some like lantern, lamppost sort of things. I was thinking maybe have some uh, flags or banners or something hanging from the trees. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Just working our way up here, making the path look nice, and most importantly, lit up so we don't get mobs spawning everywhere, which hopefully can be done through the absurd amount of lanterns we seem to have. Yeah. So that should be good. Better lit up than somewhere else on this base. Is yeah, exactly. We're not talking about sure. the underground. No, we're not. That's where the mobs can stay, in the dungeons <laughs> of the castle, where we don't need to go down, unless you're nano and fall down and die. I'm sorry! <laughs> but yeah, so, first things first, we need to work out what we're doing with the path. Me and nano have added a couple of custom trees, well, nano's still adding his there. But I'm done now. <laughs> well, they're looking super good up on the hill there, and I'm thinking that we need to sort of keep them... Going maybe some further down the hill as well. What do you think, Nano? Yes. Yeah. To like we have like an alley of trees just going down. Yeah, here. but also down the slope in front of the two we've already done. There should be at least one more. Oh, yeah. A lot further down, obviously. But like populate this hillside with a few trees. Uh, could be quite cool. Obviously not on the sh super sheer bits, but on some where it's a little bit... Uh, less steep we could put a couple trees which could uh, make the hill look a, li a little less bland because I think that would Actually. work but yeah I think all around the castle adding a few of these custom trees around the outside of the castle would work really well and obviously since we end up in a dark oak forest we can start incorporating a few of the dark oak trees a bit bigger ones oh yeah that's fair which could be a cool idea but definitely on the higher bit, we've got there. a few of these oak trees that are uh, looking really nice. And yeah, so I've done the roots on mine, so that's the one thing that needs to go on Nano's trees. Oh yeah, fair enough. A few roots. If you look at the ones I've done, Nano. Yes, I will look at them right after. But I've yeah, snapped. the best thing about these two trees, as Nano said, was um, it creates a really nice <coughs> like hole to view through. Uh, so you view the plains and the dark oak forest separately because of Nano's tree here that breaks up the view because that's why it was deliberately placed there. Um, and then my view just sort of frames it as well. So you can see there's a lovely place here if we put a bit of a fence uh, that you can look out across the plains one, which of course is going to be eventually like farmland and stuff. You get a really nice view looking out over there because uh, mm. the trees naturally sort of create a viewpoint there. Uh, and this whole area feels like it's kind of it's just a very nice area because you also have the overhang yeah so i feel like thing. if we get some like lanterns and stuff hanging off the trees or some like lantern oh, yeah, posts definitely. and things um it'll start looking really nice 
So me and Nano have decided to come through here and change up the path from being just solid path blocks to a combination of a few blocks. We originally tried doing it with a similar colour palette to the walls, and it ended up, for me personally, just bleeding too much together with the walls. Like Yeah, I loved it, but you know, Nano liked it, but for me it just didn't fit for what I for what my vision had anyway. So I think I'm gonna employ a similar tactic within the castle walls to make it like obviously the castle's all built up. But on the outside I want it to be a little more rural, a little more like naturally trodden rather than a built road. Yeah. That's just a personal thing. So we're mixing in some of this coarse dirt and granite. And personally I think it's looking really nice. Because it's obviously distinguished from the edge of the grass, so it's not like a rough road uh, like you'd get through like a forest or something, which is very overgrown, that sort of thing, that doesn't get trodden too much. Like, it's still very well trodden, but it's not man-made, it's more naturally just worn down over time. Exactly. So the granite sort of represents very well trodden path, and then the coarse dirt is more well trodden than the uh, path block is just more flattened grass, if that makes sense. This section's coming along really nicely. We've yeah, decided, it's easy, it? yeah, it's going really well. So we've hung lanterns from the trees, which I think is really nice because it obviously lights up the area, so we don't get mob spawning, and it it just adds a little bit of color. Mm. And I'm thinking that even though there's quite a few of them, it looks quite nice just having that bit of color dot about and when it goes all the way down it would look really nice mm. but over here that we had this problem where this corner here wasn't uh spawn proof so all of this grass here could spawn mobs which is obviously what we're trying to avoid so oh, there's actually is there this actually... one block no there's a few blocks i'll fix it just put some berry bushes on it no i think that'd be too much help Nah, I, I don't know. A couple blocks doesn't matter to me. Yeah. You can always kill the odd mob, but just the yeah. ma majority needs to be spawned for Anyway, we put this window in here into the um, underground terrain because in there eventually is going to be a kitchen. So we just added this window with a hidden lantern behind it to light up this grass area around it. But uh, we're going to continue adding these sorts of details all the way around and hopefully the path will look good. And we are pretty much done for today. This path is looking super, super good. We got a ruined old cart down here. I'm just going to take a stroll back down the path and up the path. Thank you so much to Nano for all the help here. We have come up with some very good ideas together like we always do with this sort of thing. But as you can see, the lower the down at the path we go, the trees become more sparse. And we decided to cut it off here today because down here a bit further we obviously want to build a bridge and that sort of thing and work out what's going down here uh, another day but today's progress has been super super good so as we come up here up through the path just look at this view it's super nice it's super super nice I'm so happy with how well these trees sort of like frame the landscape and frame the build so obviously here you got a big open space to look out over all of the plains and all the way over to the portal there, which we've got to do something with soon. But just look at this. This is so cool. But if we come up here even further, this is probably my favourite bit of the build. This view of the castle here. Because obviously you can't tell that it's not finished over that side because the tree's blocking it. So this is like a finished view of what the castle could look like. And wow, it looks so good. With the window as well, once we get a kitchen in there, that'll be cool. And then, obviously, when we come up to the entrance of the castle, we get a lovely view out over the plains with a tree stump, that sort of thing. Uh, something we're not going to talk about down there. That may have be, may or may not be why the cart is stranded, but yeah. This, this project's every day making me so inspired to play, and I'm so glad it's coming along well. So I think in the next episode, we've got some good work to do. But in this episode, we have done some very good work. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unauthor Blocks. I really hope you have enjoyed me building this castle and building up the path around it with Nano, collabing with Forge. Wow, it's been a jam-packed episode today. Toby's online. It's all kicking off. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.